does it feel to live in Ukraine when your neighbors are Russians? from our remote Ukrainian village. In this video I will show you how we ordinary Kievan residents are trying to survive in remote Ukrainian village during the wartime. So let's get started. What's the news in our village? Uh, still we have only four hours with electricity during a day <clears throat> and the life is not easy at all and you can't buy anything in the local village shop. You can't store your food in the fridge you have no water. In my case, I have an electric pump. So, <clears throat> life is not easy. But we are not complaining, because we are Ukrainians, you know. In Kyiv, we are having missiles. And here, people are enjoying their life. They are swimming, drinking. Just absolutely different reality. And nothing happens. That's how we live in our village. And this is the only light I have. Okay, right now it's only half past eight. And let's have a let's have my village bomb shelter house tour. <laughs> That's how we live in the twenty first century. I'm showing our friends how we live. Of course, you may say you are lucky, you have no power, and as a result, your neighbor, a village DJ alcoholic. Everyone knows about my neighbor. Your neighbor won't be able to play his terrible music. Yes, I'm lucky. I have no power and I have no more village discos. But my village DJ alcoholic has found some other ways to entertain himself. Oh, can you hear this? <laughs> My DJ alcoholic neighbor has found new friends. Uh, and now they're drinking together. Oh my god, they are discussing <clears throat> uh, how to be politically correct <laughs> and to sound like a lady. They are discussing some sex issues. <laughs> Phew. 
Let's go. Small kids are not allowed to hear such such terrible things. <laughs> Even I <laughs> have got blast. So we all just are drinking and discussing their private life. And we will be walking. There is no power and there is no music. So what do you use in our village? Just look at my vegetable garden. It's so sad. Can you find here any cucumbers? <sighs> look at these monsters. I just can't look here. <sighs> Some animals, vandals have destroyed my paradise. <laughs> and now look at these frogs. There. I'm just trying to find my strawberries in between this wheat. Look here. <laughs> Can you see any strawberries? Richie, this is so sad. And it's so hot again, plus 35 degrees Celsius. Friends, look at Richie. He is a real village dog. Navi, what did you do? Хто тебе буде мити тепер? Фу. Стой. Everything looks very depressing here, but still there is some good news. Look here. The price in Kiev is 50 grivnas for one piece. And I haven't been promised any harvest this year. Nine PM. I just want to show you how villagers live. There is no power. How villagers entertain themselves. Live in our village without power, without water. I wanted to say without missiles, Russian missiles, but no. Yesterday we had several Russian drones here in our village. I used to say that. Life is so quiet in our village. No, I can hear explosions, even hear explosions in Kyiv. Can you imagine? And my village is 100 kilometers far from Kyiv. And I hear explosions in Kyiv. On the 1st of September, a new academic year starts in Ukraine and from a PhD in digging, uh, a real expert in digging, I will transform again into a PhD in philology. <laughs> or 
honestly it was fun i have found so many interesting things here and it's a secret how to how to keep fit just be digging all the time So how does it feel to live in Ukraine without electricity, without the internet and without water as well? How does it feel? <laughs> uh, I will tell you the truth. In summer it feels quite okay. It's a bit annoying, but it's okay. But I can't even imagine what will I do in winter. I'm really scared of winter. You know, since Russians killed my husband, I have become a real, a real man. I have become a real DIY expert and now I can repair almost everything. Some of my DIY projects may seem a bit strange to you, but honestly, I think it's a kind of it's my solution how not go mad during this war. Maybe it's my way to fight regular stress. I enjoy my DIY projects. Maybe they are useless, maybe they are crazy and funny, but... But... <laughs> Yes, and I'm still busy with my crazy DIY projects and I'm improving my uh, handmade village uh, outdoor furniture. Richa, she's eating something all the time. Shop is not... Sorry. <clears throat> and... I never give up community. We will always find a way out.
F-16, can you hear this sound? Russians, hello! Vichy, da da da! It's a nice pilot! Glory to the Ukrainian pilots! In this video I will share some tips of experienced villagers. <laughs> some of my friends advised me to to make uh, how to call it click click baiting click baiting thumbnails. Yes, I did it twice. You remember sex in our village and I don't remember the second one. No sex. <laughs> So what should I do to make the third one no sex in our village? I think I need a bottle of Prosecco <laughs> to make the third one. Uh, so what about uh, sex in our village? There is no sex in our village. We are working all the time. Can I make uh, a thumbnail like <coughs> no sex in our village? <laughs> This is my tip. <coughs> I don't know what to do with this zucchini. When they are small, oh, they are tasty. But they are, when they are so huge, you can feed only cattle with them. Oh. Oh. So my neighbor told me that we can have a super buyer fertilizer. <coughs> And when we have power in our village, we can afford luxurious life. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. Again, we have no power and it's time to drive home to Kiev, Richie. But firstly, <laughs> can you guess what we are going to do? Okay, this is our crop. Village goodbye. Kiev is waiting for us. feel to live in Ukraine during the wartime when your neighbors are Russians? Russian drone, right? 
right there in my house. Can you hear this sound? Тусик. Your mommy is observing Russian drones. Тусик wants as well. This way. A typical morning in Kyiv. And in two hours I shall be at the university teaching students. far from your house for example by the way we have trained our ears and we can uh, exactly identify the places of explosions it's like oh, uh, uh, uh. I think it's Solomonsky district or it's it's Shevchenkovsky district or Holosevsky district uh, uh, you know on Monday on Monday Russians uh, launched only only 15 ballistic missiles at Kiev, but I saw five of them right over my house and one of them exploded uh, just next to my house. You know, it was so terrible. My kids were so scared and now I know for sure because at that time I couldn't I couldn't formulate my feelings, couldn't describe my feelings. Uh, I know for sure at that time I was looking up in the skies and I saw theirs. I have never seen theirs so close. Uh, what is our response? What is our response to Russians? They're attacking us every day and every night. And every day and every night we're assembling drones for the Ukrainian army. I told you, I promised that uh, uh, I would assemble six drones. No, at least ten drones. This time ten drones. Uh, today is Saturday and during this week we have assembled two drones already because we are from Invincible Ukraine That's how Russians greet us on the 
new academic year. So, how does it feel to live in Kyiv during the wartime under regular Russian missile attacks? This is our response for Monday, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, for Thursday, for every single day, for every Russian attack, and for tears of my kids. I know for sure some of you will ask me where did you get money for these drone kids? You? You have sent me money to repair my old village bomb shelter and to buy a generator. Uh, but you know, my dear friends, I think if Russians invade Kyiv, invade Ukraine, a generator wouldn't save me and it wouldn't save my kids. Thank you. 
watching Praise for Ukraine and goodbye.